Uh, it's been going pretty good so far. You know, the weather has cooperated with us, so we've been able to get outside for every practice. And, you know, this year we wanted to make it a point of emphasis to make sure we do a lot of special teams work in the spring. And, you know, not so much scheme-wise, more so, you know, competitiveness and, you know, understanding the fundamentals of it and why we're doing it. So then when we get into fall camp, you know, we can end up, you know, working on our schemes, but, you know, we don't have to spend so much time on the fundamentals. But, you know, right now we're looking for competitors right now. Who hates to lose, you know, in these competition drills, you know, one-on-one -on -one blocking, whether it's two-on-one, -on -one, you know, all that type of stuff. Who's the guy that absolutely hates to lose with this? You know, it's, you know, we talk about it saying, hey, it's one third of the game. You know, you have offense, defense, and obviously the next third is special teams. And a lot of times people will understand special teams, you know, when it's bad, when there's a blocked punt, when there's a missed field goal for the game winner, those types of things. But, you know, there's 11 players out there and they all mean so much to each special team. So, you know, kickoff, if one of our guys doesn't spill a guy or misses a tackle, that could affect the whole team. So, you know, right now, like we talked about, you know, we're looking for competitors who hates to lose and those guys that you can count on you know being next to you part of this team yeah I mean you look at it and people understand hey who's the all-conference player who's the all-american player on the offensive side or the defensive side of the ball but what get, gets a lot gets lost a lot is you know the special teams players you know last year we had a lot of seniors on our special teams you know players names that you may not have heard of before but we got to replace all those types of guys and you know it's not just saying hey we can plug a guy in there you got to get the right fit in there and so you know right now in the spring it's you know getting that right fit who is going to step up you know who's competing at the highest level who absolutely hates to lose yeah, you know, we, we lose Ryan, who, you know, was a great punter for us for three years, but, you know, we think we have a decent punter behind him. Uh, Michael James, you know, a UP kid, a uh, kid that, you know, was the UP punter of the year, you know, when he came out of high school, you know, hasn't really got a lot of opportunities to punt in games with us, but, you know, he's really stepped up this spring. You can kind of see it, you know, when we're doing our drills pre-practice, then we, when we get into some scheme work with our punt, you can see that, you know, he's really hitting the ball good. You know, he's got some confidence that we didn't see before, and, you know, we're excited about you know his opportunity to take it you know to the next level for him wise so place kicker wise you know we have a lot of competition there you know austin tremura who is kicked in games you know evan gornick who's also kicked in games you know they're competing out there you know for hopefully one job you know whether it's kickoff whether it's place kicking you know it means so much to them and you know so we're doing competitions whether it's hey we're a left hash field goal right hash field field goal extra point here and there those types of things you know we're charting all that to make sure hey we're putting our best you know player out there for the best opportunity for our team to get a w come fall